In this video, I will provide a quick explanation of the Gordon Growth Model. So let's start with a definition. The Gordon Growth Model is a method of valuing a company's share price by assuming consistent growth of dividend payments. So here's the idea with this model. Let's say that a company is about to pay a dividend tomorrow. Let's call that dividend zero in year zero, the current dividend. One year from now, they're going to pay another dividend. Let's call that D sub one. One year after that, so two years from now, let's call it dividend sub two. Then three years from that, they're going to pay another dividend. Let's call it dividend sub three. And we're just going to go on and on and on in perpetuity. And we're going to assume that this company is just always paying a dividend every year. Now, another assumption we're making is that the value of these dividends is growing by a consistent rate each year. So if one year from now, let's say the dividend is going to be $1, let's say if it grows by 10%, well, two years from now, that means they're going to pay us $1.10. And then if it grows by another 10%, that means in year three, they're going to pay us $1.21. So each year, we're assuming that there's consistent dividend growth. Now, when considering what a fair share price would be for this company, what we're saying is, Let's consider all of these dividends that we're going to receive in the future. We know that the present value of each of these dividends will be less than their future values. So this $1, one year from now, we need to discount that dividend back to the present day. So the present value will be less than $1. And then we need to discount this dividend from year two back to present. And then we need to discount this dividend in year three back to the present. So the idea is to come up with a fair share price, let's call it P, we're going to take the sum of the present value of all of these dividends that we're going to receive in the future. Now, it turns out that when you calculate it, this is the formula that can be used to actually calculate P. So D sub one divided by R minus G, where D sub one is next year's expected dividend, R is the required rate of return, and G is the consistent dividend growth rate each year. So let's take a look at an example of how to actually use this model. All right, this example says a company is expected to pay a dividend of $3 per share next year. Use the Gordon growth model to find the fair value of the share price if your required rate of return is 9% and the estimated dividend growth rate is 5%. So to calculate the fair value of the share price, we're just going to use this formula up here. So we'll say P, the fair share price, is equal to D sub 1. So that's the dividend that we expect to receive next year, which we're told is $3. So we'll say $3 divided by, in the denominator we have R minus G, so the required rate of return minus the consistent growth rate. So our required rate of return is 9%. That's what we require to even invest in this stock. So as a decimal, that would be 0 0.09, and then we're subtracting the growth rate, which we're told is 5%. So as a decimal, that's 0 0.05. So if we simplify a little bit, we get $3 divided by 0.04. So if you punch in 3 divided by 0 0.04 into a calculator, that comes out to $75. So according to the Gordon growth model, this is what the fair share price would be for this company. Now, there are a couple obvious pros and cons of this model. The pro is that the model is simple to use and it's easy to understand. So it's pretty straightforward. But the major con is that the model can only be used for companies that actually pay dividends with constant growth each year. So in a lot of cases, it's not realistic to assume that a company is going to have constant dividend growth each year in perpetuity. And in many cases, a lot of companies don't even pay dividends at all. So this model couldn't be used to value those companies. So just keep that in mind when considering using the Gordon growth model.